Planet. Welcome back to Planet Plants. We had a brief hiatus. We moved, upgraded our living situation. New place. Woo. New place always means new plant. Look at our new beauty. Local nursery, 35. A little pricey, but rare. This is the ZZ plant. It used to be very common in the 90s in doctor's offices and things like that because even a brown thumb can keep it alive. Easy peasy. It likes. What kind of light does it like? Uh, low to bright <laughs> indirect light. That's um, right. So pretty much any light. We actually have it where it might be getting even a little bit of direct light in this window here in the mornings, but for the most part, it's just bright indirect light. And as you can see, it's doing very well. Um, we do well. have one yellowing leaf here, but it's not a big deal. Look at this beautiful waxy leaf shine. Oh, very beautiful. Unreal. And uh, temperatures, it, it thrives best in 65 to 75, is that right? So pretty much normal house temperature range. It's uh, easy there. They call it unkillable. Uh, what was it with the watering again, honey? Water it, and then when it gets dry, water it again. Can you wait a little longer and will it live? Yes. But basically, that's it. If you want it to grow and thrive, it all plants. So let it dry out between waterings is what she's saying. Um, and if it stays dry, that's, that's okay as well. All plants, I think, prefer terracotta. This is my first easy plant. I made a baby. This little baby was poking out the bottom. And I followed it to the roots. And the roots look like the same kind of roots that would be in a spider plant, like a bulb. And I did not include the bulb when propagating. If I did, it would propagate much faster. I went the second route and just took the clip at the bottom. This may take up to a year. We shall wow, see. Wow, long time, folks. Yep. Um, yeah, humidity, what was it? They, they, they like slightly humid, but they also do well in drier environments, I believe. Yep. Um, yeah. Very hard to kill. Beautiful, easy to take care of plant. Maybe a little expensive if you're buying a bigger one like we did. I mean, $35 for a house plant is a, is a chunk. <laughs> it was, yeah, I gave away three babies in case it died. It might live somewhere. You can do that too when you get an expensive plant. Always have plant backups, folks. At your friend's house and <laughs> haunt them later. They love that. You can put this. Look how nice this looks against the wall. Look at the negative space between the leaves. I mean, you could just draw this. Oh, here's some of my art. <laughs> Very classy plant but indeed. Yes, it's a beautiful know, art in the background. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. An evergreen. Such a thick, rich, dark, gorgeous plant. The ZZ plant. Always a winner. If you can find one, they're becoming more and more rare. If you get one, give one to a friend. They are lovely. Thank Highly you. recommend them. Yeah. Simple, easy, beautiful plant. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Plant of plants. Plant of plants. Uh, just a quick side note here, folks. As we were putting back this easy plant, we noticed that yellowing branch was actually dead and rotten at the bottom here. And uh, this is known to happen sometimes. Uh, as you can see, it just popped right out when I tried to pull the branch. So actually, if there is yellowing, uh, you either want to clip off the yellowing or, you know, the yellowing branch. Or check to see if the whole branch is just rotten and then just pull it out. Um, no point in keeping dead weight around. As you can see, the plant... Is looking a bit healthier again now with that done. Oh yeah. All right.